Okay, so hello, hello, hello. This is Lance, and in this video, I am going to walk you through the correction process for the second keyframes or cleanup work done by Mr. Elijah James Ragas, or the episode director of this cut. And before we begin, I'd like to give you a quick overview on how I spot drawings that needs corrections. This will be the final correction for this cut. After this, it will be sent to our in-betweeners. Okay, so I'll be looking for drawings that are not on model. Basically, it has to be consistent from the first keyframe to its last keyframe. Maybe there still needs a bit of adjustment with the balance of the character, the flow of the movement, maybe the position of the props, maybe some missing lines on the blouse and on the hair. There is a total of 71 sheets on this cut and we'll be going through all of it on this video. We'll start checking cell A. It is where Chris is drawn, so let's get it. Okay, on cell A3, I've noticed that the correction of her face wasn't applied, so I redraw it again. Reason being, I wanted to give the action a bit of fluidity, like how the motion started from her hip up to her shoulder, to just place the kettle on the table. This would make it feel more natural than how it was intended originally. It's a bit extra, but it works. Okay, around this point, I've decided to add second shadow to give it a bit more contrast so it'll feel more readable if that makes sense. But the problem was I didn't prepare second shadow on the character model. So there will be an additional color on her color palette. Here I'm just adding a bit of curve. It's important to give Chris the curve, especially on the legs. Yes, I don't know if you can notice but when I look at this keyframe, I somehow put my attention to her forehead. That's not good. So I decided to redraw the face a little bit. Uh, when I'm correcting solid objects, I'm more concerned how it sits on the perspective. So it's important to know where is the origin or the root of this object on which plane is it sitting. On this cut, the pen is on Joseph's hands. So I have to somehow make it look natural. It's placed well, thankfully. So I'm only redrawing it based on my taste. I don't want to give it too much details as it might pull the attention of the viewers on the pan.
Okay, that wasn't much. It's all done. I guess it looks great. Hopefully it goes well. The overall process is a bit rough, but it's great since I get to animate with the team and we're able to learn from one another. All right, see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. Our goal is 100K. Why did it on? Okay. Bye. Get out of the bottle. It's a fun take.